morning and welcome to another Cake Life vlog. I have just got into the studio this morning. It is 7.53 a.m. and it's actually a Wednesday. I was hoping to start filming on Monday and Tuesday and I've just been busy so I haven't got round to it. Um, but the week that I didn't film, that was such a tough week. I had two cakes on. I had a large, well, lots of figures on it. Um, wedding cake to finish for Friday with a long distance delivery. And then I had a birthday cake to complete that we were delivering on Saturday to Manchester. So that week I was working from 8 a.m. right through to like 11 p.m. I'd go home for tea, make tea. And then I'd come back, Adam would drop me back off and I was here till about 11 o'clock. And that happened a couple of times during the week, just to try and get all those figures done on that cake. Um, and I was still working on the Saturday delivery on Saturday. So I was in the studio at the weekend as well, finishing that one off. But both cakes got finished, both cakes got delivered. And this week is my cake free week. So instead of doing cake, I have now turned my hand back to chocolate again. <laughs> if you were around last year, you will know I do something called rad slabs. So they're called that because it's a very 80s word, rad. And my business is very 80s, 90s orientated. And I used to do them for like Father's Day and Halloween and I just haven't had time this year to do any. Plus my studio wasn't ready, still isn't 100% ready, but I've got the chocolate machine out and started to make the Christmas rad slabs. Now last year these sold super quick. So I'm hoping to make, try and get a head start and make a few more so people aren't disappointed. So that's what I've been doing for the past two days, making the plaques for all the different designs and I've got my first one ready, so I will show you the first one. This is one of nine designs. <laughs> Um, I'm hoping to launch them this weekend. I always give priority to my brigadiers, so they get two days to get their orders in before they then go up to the public. So here is the first one. This sticker comes on four of the boxes because it's two of my favorite Slytherin. Um, so obviously there's gonna be two of my favorite Ravenclaw, Gryffindor and Hufflepuff, but this is the first ones completed yesterday and I have all the plaques ready for the other ones. just want to give a huge shout out to Liz, a cupboard, Barbara, who um, she already made these plaques and I spotted them and thought they looked really good and asked her if she had the Hogwarts crest um, and she didn't but she made it for me and sent it through as well as a few of the goodies and they are so good. I just think the detail is really nice and what I did I sponged gold over the top to make them look distressed rather than hand paint every single line I dipped a sponge in gold and sponged it over so it looked all distressed and old but I am super happy with that first one but I've got a lot to do today so there's your first little update and I'll catch you in a few hours it's now Thursday I attempted to pick the camera back up yesterday to show you all the rad slabs I made I powered through and made 40 slabs and I was going to pick the camera up and show you what I've been working on all day but when I needed to photograph all the slabs so I could get them edited so that I could tease them to the brigade first and then start uploading the stuff to the shop ready for the launch on Sunday or rather ready for the brigade's launch tomorrow on the 12th my camera flashes battery died so i was just stuck not being able to do that it was home time we have no food in the house because we haven't had time to go food shopping i am on a third of a bowl of cereal just the you know the really awful <laughs> dusty bits from the bottom of the bag that's what i'm on this morning i'm wearing dinosaur christmas fluffy socks because there are no regular socks left because we haven't had time to do the washing <laughs> So my socks are all the fluffy Christmas kind um, that you wear with your pyjamas. Um, and I just was in a bit of a rage yesterday. This is not normal, is it? To be annoyed that there are not enough hours in the day to get your work done. 
<laughs> that was what I was most annoyed about. I knew I had things to do and be finished by the end of the day and all these things were happening so that I couldn't get it done by the end of the day. And the time was ticking on, it was home time and I was angry that I had to come home <laughs> and I hadn't finished my work. We missed Abby's virtual parents evening. Like I said, we have no food in the house, so we had to go and get chippy for tea, which all of us are pretty much sick of now. Even Kai, who is a massive junk food fan, is completely tired of pies and pastries. We need to go food shopping. Abby has also been off school all this week, so we've been nipping home at dinner time or I've been working half days to make sure she's all right, make her dinner. I had to book her a PCR test because she's got a cough. I think it's just a cough, but you've got to do these things and this should have been posted this morning and it's still here, so that's just another job that hasn't been done yet. It is 8.34, I am at my desk um, catching up with uploading these rad slabs to the shop. So what should have been a nice week of just catching up with jobs is just turned into another manic week. I did actually film a little clip of me in the studio on Monday, <laughs> haven't shown you yet, um, but I just wanted to say thank you for anybody who made a purchase. I have another order to pack probably this afternoon if I can make it to the studio on time. Um, Thank you so much for grabbing the Christmas cards. I still do have some left, so if you want to throw some Christmas cards in your basket whilst you're buying rad slabs, you can do that. But for now, I am going to spend this morning uploading the slabs to the shop and attempting to still get this carousel tutorial done. I've done the first half. I just need to do a script and a voiceover and finish ed editing it. And then all the brigadiers, you get to watch the carousel tutorial. I know I am behind. <laughs> Just bear with me. I got all my shop listings done. I got my carousel tutorial done. We've just left that. We've come down to the studio to clean it because I've got a visitor tomorrow. And I left it in a bit of a mess when I was doing all the chocolate slabs. So there were sprinkles everywhere and chocolate everywhere. So we've just come to clean up. Um, and I've left the carousel tutorial exporting while we do that. But we finished up, Adam is just steam mopping. He's doing the bit of the floor in his socks, tiptoeing across his freshly mopped floor. Um, and then we're gonna go home and I'm going to put some of the slabs live in the shop, ready for the brigadiers to buy. Um, and then I've got a visitor in the studio tomorrow, so I'll probably catch up with you then. Just coming to the end of Friday, I had my visitor day, it was Brigadier Kim. She is a cupcake and she came to visit me and we just stood and talked for four hours. <laughs> Once I start going, I don't see humans very often, so when I see another human, I cannot stop talking and especially she's a cake maker as well, so we were talking all things cake, all things toppers, all things acrylic, all things business. Yeah, so we had a good old chinwag today. She got to see the studio and I've just been taking stock of some of the Rad Slab orders that have been coming in and quickly bought some backup chocolate because I think I'm going to need it. I look mega shiny on camera. I put some moisturiser on this morning, but I know I look a bit like a shiny waxwork. <laughs> well, it is Saturday today. I'm actually vlogging at the weekend, but that's because the house is empty. The kids think they've gone Christmas shopping with Adam to buy things for me. <laughs> well, in actual fact, we just needed to get Kai out of the house. He has requested that... He wants his, to give his room a bit of an upgrade. His room, when we moved into the house, I don't know if it was it five or six years ago now, something like that, um, his bedroom was originally pink and we painted it like a pale brown and it was very much Harry Potter 
think old science museum type of vibe going on. So we had a shelf full of lots of little bits, you know, like the bugs in cases and butterflies and little dinosaur heads in glasses, old style magnifying glasses. Um, he's got his Harry Potter wand up there. He's got a sign on his door for the room of requirement. The little handles on his wardrobe are like brass frogs. So it's, and his curtains are like that as well. His curtains are, have like beetles and old clocks and things on it. So he's requested to give it a little bit of an upgrade. He, he loves green. You might be able to tell from like watching all the past vlogs he, for his birthday, everything was green. Green bottle, green bag. He loves the jungle type leaves, like the banana leaves. But he has chosen a paler green. So he's already chosen his paint color. So he knows that we have the paint. What he doesn't know is that we're actually going to do this for him on Monday whilst he's at school. So he knows his bedroom is gonna change, he's chosen the colour, he just doesn't know he's going to get it on Monday. It's gonna be a bit of a hard task, getting it all done in a day. Two to three coats of paint to go over the brown and new curtains and things. So the reason why he's out today is because he desperately wants a desk in his room. Now his room is tiny, it's like a little postage stamp, it's got a bed in it and a set of drawers and that's it. You can't fit anything else in there because he's got the room like above the stairs so you have one of those slanted bits over the staircase and it's had a built-in like wardrobe above it so his clothes are hanging like above the stairs and it's got doors on so stuff cannot be moved that's the only layout he can have there's no room for a desk whatsoever however the bed that he has has like sides that come up because it's like a mid sleeper so he's got a couple of spaces underneath for books and stuff so it's a it's a little bit higher off the floor and it's got like sides on it. So what I've done is bought a long piece of wood <laughs> that kind of matches the oak sort of colour scheme in his room. Um, and I'm going to make a removable shelf for his bed. Basically, it's a bit like a bath one. Imagine all you know, the shelves that you get in the bath and you can have like cup holders and things in it. It's a bit like that, but much bigger to be able to fit a laptop on and pieces of paper where he can write stuff, but he can sit up in his bed, we've bought him some cushions, so he can prop himself up like he's sat in a chair, and then he can move, obviously, the shelf, and take it off and put it away when he wants to go to sleep. That's like the only workaround we have found. So today, I need to make that shelf, and I also need to sew his curtains, because the curtain panel that we've bought is huge. It's like 80 centimetres too big. So I need to measure that, chop it, do whatever if it needs sewing or whatever. Um, so that's what I've got to do today whilst they're out. So I really do need to make a start on it. Thank you. 
I'm all done. Oh my gosh, those curtains were a pain in the butt. I have never used one of those iron-on sticky strip things before. I tell a lie, I have and it didn't work the first time either, which is why I've not really technically used it. <laughs> um, and the second time it failed as well, so I just decided to get the sewing machine out and sew it. I haven't put them up, so I don't know if they're long enough or too long or too short. I'm just going to have to find that out on the day on Monday. It's Monday and you'll notice I'm in the studio today. What should I have been doing on Monday is decorating Kai's room. So yesterday, Sunday, we went to Ikea to pick up his mattress. He's had his mattress for a long, long time. And because it was made out of foam, he's literally got a little <laughs> bum dint in it where he, where he sits in his bed. So we thought, right, it's time for a new mattress. So we went to Ikea and picked up a mattress. If you can get to Ikea super early, it is dead, completely empty. And we also picked up some Christmas bedding because what I was planning to do is put new Christmas bedding on Kai's bed and on Abby's bed and mini Christmas trees for the room so that they can decorate them. So Kai's got his new room and Abby's got some new bedding and a tree to decorate. And we've been planning this for ages. Adam had booked the day off so we could both work on his room and he's caught Abby's cough. So Abby's test came back negative, so she's gone back to school. Her negative test came in late last week. Kai has caught it, he's not very well at all, and he's got his PCR test booked for today. So he's off school today, which means we can't do his room. He's probably going to be off for the next few days, and this vlog goes up on Thursday. So, fingers crossed, what I'm hoping, is he's well enough to go back to school on Thursday and I will do his room on Thursday before this vlog goes up otherwise he's going to know everything. <laughs> Not that he watches these but there's always that little chance. <laughs> so yeah that's that's our plans well and truly out the window. So Adam's got a day off today and all he's doing is running Kai for his PCR test and he said he's going to do some ironing and washing and I've decided to come to the studio today because I launched the Rad Slabs last night it went absolutely crazy. Um, I know they sold out in like two minutes last year and I was expecting something similar this year, but I put more stock in the shop. I didn't want to let people down, so I put more quantities in so that it gave more time to people get for, for them to get what they wanted. And all the designs sold out apart from the personalized ones because I think I had over 100 personalized ones available. So I've still got a few of those left. Um, but I thought I'd come in and get a head start on cutting all the personalised name plaques out. Thank you so much if you made an order. Some of you were literally on the dot at 6 o'clock. The, the first couple of orders came in at 1 minute past 6. <laughs> so you were on it. I know people said they were sat, they literally excused themselves from the dinner table at a family meal at 6 o'clock, pretending they were going to the toilet so that they could order the rat snaps. That is dedication. You were on there, you were filling your baskets, checking out in record time. For those who missed out, um, I know people's alarms didn't go off or you were distracted or you weren't there at six o'clock. I do try and tell you that these sell out really quick. It's not just hype, I'm not trying to just like get orders. I'm, I'm telling you because I know they sell out really quick and I don't want you to miss out. Um, but for those who did, I may have the order slab left. What I have to do is make all my orders first, see what sweets I've got left, see what boxes I've got left, see what stickers I've got left, and anything I have extra and I have time for, I'll make up to get rid of the excess stock, but I don't know what those designs will be. I don't know if there will be any. All you have to do is keep your eye on my socials because I will be posting there what's available. But yeah, you, you're gonna keep me busy all through December. I'm gonna sign the vlog off here because I'm gonna be busy today and just keep your fingers crossed that Kai's go back, Kai goes back to school on Thursday because I don't know what I'm going to do if he doesn't. Nothing ever quite goes to plan, does it? So thank you very much for watching another Cake Life vlog and I will see you in the next one.